in a monochrome world Working from the side through her lonely eyes It reflects the ocean and stars But her cry echoes around The simple loss of love in her heart Making this old fairy tale alive and sorrow's tender embrace This was never meant to happen Day. The only reason you have to stay Hear me sing my song And just keep holding on Cinderella, why don't you stay with me tonight? We will dance until dinner comes and we could run away Oh, we will never ever be apart Set aside all your fears, this magic lives inside of us I am here, would you want to stay with me tonight? Follow me Run across the bridge of fantasy oh, All the pain and sadness that you feel Believe in me, hold me close and never let me go Come and stay with me forever Magic lives so long as I am here Alright guys, today we are playing my absolute favorite ultimate ever now warning there is mild swearing kind of ish i don't know there's also uh there's like one scene where it's kissing but if you don't like that stuff well um i guess you don't need to watch it now and you can watch my video later oh i love this game so much i finished the whole entire game already but i don't know adore this game so much and be prepared for lots and lots and lots of squealing because I ship characters so much it's yeah all right let's start this I haven't done any of the bad endings um in my full gameplay I didn't record it I just played it but I didn't really record it because, well, I record some of it, but then I deleted it all. I didn't get any of the bad endings because, of course, I hate getting bad endings. So, um, I might try to get bad endings for you guys, but prepare for a lot of crying. It's not my first time, so if you want to play, you can view the tutorial anytime. It's a free game. Please get it. It's beautiful. Once upon a time, in the kingdom far, far away, there were two crystals. One was a crystal, uh, crystalline lucis protected by the ruler of fairies. Of oh, the fairies. Oh, jeez, I can't. The other was the Crystallum Tenebrarum, which was watched over by the High Leader of the Witches. The Lucis was sustained by love, happiness, and joy. The Tenebrarum by fear, anger, and hatred. The fairies and witches lived in harmony with the humans of the kingdom. They regulated the power of the crystals in order to maintain balance between darkness and light. For there can be no joy without sadness, no courage without fear. True, true, so true. The kingdom was at peace for a time. Then one day, a traveling bard decided to write stories, tales of magic and wonders of the kingdom. I think this is fairy tales, right? It's hard to read it. It doesn't look like English. He named these stories fairy tales. Jackpot. In fairy tales, the light always emerged victorious, and true love was usual was a usual reward. Ah, there's no such thing as true love in real life. So sad. The fairy tale spread further than could have been. Well, <laughs> the fairy tale spread further than could have been predicted. The humans of the kingdom began to believe that fairy tales were true and that the magic of the witches was inherently wicked and cruel. Oh no! 
Now I am being a witch for Halloween. A, a cat witch. Nico witch. And uh I'm a good witch, not a bad witch, and good witches do exist. Oh whoops, hit the mic. Uh if you watch Harry Potter, you should know that. If you haven't um, well, there's a lot of stuff in there. I wouldn't I'm not too big of a fan, but I wouldn't say don't watch it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> The witches became hunted, hated, and feared. Eventually, they were hunted like animals. <gasps> Is that supposed to be blood there? Oh dear, that's terrible. The witch hunt. The high leader of the witches, in all of her anger, created the fairy tale curse. You think we were, we are so wicked? So be it. Just have you, as you have taken our happiness, even after years. What? I'm sorry. I read that wrong. Just as you have taken our happy, happily ever afters, we shall take yours. Pretty sure witches don't look like that. Just saying. The witches use the fairy t use the fairy tale curse to attack humans indiscriminately. I can't read. Ultimately, throwing the kingdom into chaos and darkness. The ruler of the fairies, the loose sparrow, sought to regain peace. I know who the ruler of the fairies are. But the witches were blinded by their hatred for humans, who were responsible for the witch genocide. I, I understand why. I actually really understand. That's terrible. A terrible war, the Great War, began. Eventually, the Tenebrian bearer, the high leader of the witches, was finally defeated. The Tenebrum was lost, peace was restored, and the light once again triumphed. But darkness can never fully disappear. It waits in the shadows, patient for when its time will inevitably, will inevitably return. Contract, sign here. I'm gonna keep it Lucette because I love Lucette so much and, and I ship her with a lot of characters and I don't want it to be TGG because I don't ship myself with any of these. Okay, maybe I do one, but... Eh, yeah, anyways, let's keep it this end. Prologue, Ice Princess. <laughs> My name is Lucette Riella Britton, daughter of, the ki of King Gennaro Britton III. I am the crown princess of the kingdom NGL. At least, that was who I used to be. Now there's a back button, so if I miss any... Whoa, that would be so helpful! But that was before yesterday, when I became a victim of the infamous fairy tale curse. Oh my! Oh, she looks like she's about to cry! has forgotten my birthright. Now I am nothing more than a lowly peasant. I feel like I'm stuck in a nightmare. But no, this is my reality now. I still have no idea what I must do to break the curse. I close my eyes and remember that day. It started out like any other day. Have you heard? Another person was cursed. I don't know if I should use my mouse or... I'll use my mouse. Oh, she's so pretty! I'm on, I'm on my way to the dining hall for breakfast when I stop and listen to the sound of hushed voices. Ooh! Now, I wish I had a maid outfit like that. They're so cute. <laughs> These two are slacking off again. That's terrible! What fairy tale curse was it? They say it was Pinocchio. <laughs> Oh no, every time the light does his nose grow. Pinocchio, the fairy tale with the lion boy whose nose grows longer? That's awful! You know, more and more people have been getting cursed lately. You think those wicked witches are up to something again? I thought the fairy tale curse would stop after you now who was defeated. You two are here you two were hired to work, not talk. We're sorry, Your Highness. 
as can only be expected from the likes of them. Lucette, that's so mean. Hmm. Huh. Another fairy tale curse. The fairy tale curse started spreading even before the Great War began. I do not have much interest in, uh, interest in its effects, even now. After all, most humans probably deserve to get cursed. The victims are weak. Actually, no. Lucette, the victims are not weak, they're just being cursed because they did something wrong. Well, most of them anyway. Mm, some of them are cursed for no reason. <laughs> I know, there's a certain someone who is cursed, not because he was bad, but because I was stupid. Stupid. Villain. I'm sorry. I'm very emotional. And you would be better off without the dead without the dead weight. Ugh, upset. If it were up to Mother, the curse would have been banished from NGL the instant they fell prey to it. But Mother is not here anymore. I wonder what Mother was. Actually, now I'm sorry. I'll pretend I don't know any of this, okay? And she'll not come back. Ever. Princess, the King and Queen are waiting in the dining hall. I'm giving it a different voice, not the made A and made B. I'm on my way. Now, I don't have a very good range of voices. Right now, I'm actually voice acting. This is not my real voice. <laughs> the King Ophelia and Rod are all present in the dining hall. Someone is conspicuously missing, but I ignore their absence. King Gennaro! Papa! This is, this is your dad! Good morning, Lucette. Good morning, Your Majesty. Good morning, Lucette. Lucette? Ophelia? Uh, I don't think you like her. Oh. I like her. She's really nice, but in this game, Lucette really hates her. Not me. That's also a reason why I didn't put my name, because this is something that I would never do. Yeah. Ophelia Windensolf. Every day, I wonder why my father and king married a lowly baker. She could have. Uh, she could never be a true king, for she pales in comparison to mother. I take my seat next to the king and look up at the person sitting opposite me. It's Rod! Little Sebby the bunny! Right there, he's so cute, just want to pinch his cheeks. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> Rod is um, a romance choice, and, but he's, as you can see, he's a stepbrother, which is a bit, you know. <coughs> <laughs> I have no words. I'm not against it. I think it's, I think it's kind of cute, but yeah, I was a little bit, you know, I didn't feel very comfortable at it at first, but I'm okay with it now. I'm used to these kind of things. Rod Benedict, Windensor Benedict. Hmm, that reminds me of a certain chicken from Minecraft Story Mode. Play it if you haven't played Minecraft Story Mode. Well, at least watch it. It's a really good game. Love it. Anyways, Rod Benedict Rizensov. Windensov. <laughs> My stepbrother. is bored and quiet as usual. He's two years my junior. Uh, he's two years my junior and is the younger of Ophelia's children. Wait, the music just stopped. Oh. He is mute and uses the plush bunny to voice his thoughts. He has a fairy tale curse. I'll tell you now, it's the mermaid's curse. It was apparently given to him by a fairy, and I know who that certain dear fairy is. He minds his own business and is easy to deal with, but his oldest sister. My eyes go to the empty seat beside him. She's probably the most infuriating person I have ever had the displeasure of knowing. Well then, you could have just said, she is the most annoying person I've ever met, but I guess you could put it that way. I'm sorry I'm late, I was reading and forgot the time. And here she is. Good morning, dear father, mother, good morning, Rod, and good morning to you too, Lisette. 
It's a beautiful morning, isn't it? Huh. Emmeline Windensov, Rod's elder sister and my stepsister. She acts as if we are blood, if, as if she too were born a princess. As if she could be crown princess, perhaps steal my place. I will never let that happen. Now that everyone is here, let us begin. I can't do male voices. Butlers glide inside with silver trays to carefully serve us breakfast. Now this right here, in English we're learning to do magical realism and show not tell. Wait, what? Yeah, and this is exactly what my teacher would probably say is show not tell. Maybe a little more adjectives. Oh my. So, Emmeline, you are reading the fairy tale books that the king brought you? Oh yes, there are so many and they're all so wonderful. I <laughs> gave it to a high pitch of a voice. Thank you. Oops, wrong one. Thank you so much, Father. I'm happy that you like them. I love them. It's so strange that the library didn't have any of them to begin with. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that is because Mother hated them. She had all the books burned. <gasps> but why? They're such charming stories. Fairy tales mislead humans into believing they can have things they do not deserve. Fame, riches, love, happily ever afters. And when their wishes do not come true, to fruitate, uh, fruitate, to, to fruition, fruit, fruition, fruition? I don't know. Exactly as they want them to be, the humans blame the witches for granting them in the first place. What are you implying about the witches, Lisette? The atmosphere shifts the air in the the atmosphere shifts. The air in the room grows he growing heavy. I continue to eat. Perhaps witches aren't not aren't are not responsible for the evil in this world. Half right, half wrong, Lisa. Perhaps humans are the cause of their own downfall. True, true. Have you any idea what you're talking about, child? Whoa, when you when you're called child, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> Witches have caused nothing but pain and suffering to this kingdom. Even now, they still spread the fairy tale curse to our innocent subjects. The truth is, I know very little about the, the time the witches had free reign over Angel. I was very young then, and Mother forbade me to leave the palace, sometimes even my room. Whoa, sounds like um, a really overprotective mother there. I know nothing of the people's supposed pain and suffering. Now let me tell you now, there are a lot of voices here and I'm not going to bother voice act them all. I'm sorry. Mother kept me away from everyone. And so, I cannot bring myself to care. How do you know the cursed are innocent? Our people have been toiling day and night to repeal the NGL after the Great War. Our people are kingdom's foundation and I am endlessly great, uh, grateful for their determination and resolve. Every day, I wonder what your mother taught you about. Leave mother out of this. Oh, sounds like a real bratty princess. Dear, please. Lisa, darling, your father didn't mean to. I am not one of your children, Ophelia. I do not need your sympathy. Lucette, you will show your mother respect. She is not my mother. Okay, Lucette. Dang. I set down my fork and knife and stand up. I am done. Excuse me. My father and I have never got on, but our relationship has significantly worsened since he married the baker. My father, the king. It has been 17 years and I never felt any love from him. Oh no, I can see why she hates him. But don't worry, she will love him. She will always love him. She just doesn't know it yet. He treats Emmeline and Rod, who only entered our life one year ago, like his own children. 
better than he has ever treated me. This has been my life ever since Mother passed away four years ago. Mother was the only one that was there when no was there for me when no one else was. Are you sure about that? If it wasn't for the accident during the Great War, she would still be here. Why the sour face so early in the morning, princess? Fritz! It's Fritz! J Gerald. Fritz Gerald. I forgot. Let me guess. It's the king and the queen or Princess Emmeline. Or is it all of them? It's never odd. <laughs> I ignore his question. Fritz, what are you doing here so early? I'm running some errands for my father. Yee! Fitzgerald, Aiden, whoa, geez, Aiden Leverton, son of the highest knight of the Order of Caldera. Caldera. His father, Sir Alicaster, has served the royal family for many years. Nice. Sir Alicaster is one of the king's most trusted advisors. Three years ago, Fritz was assigned the honor of becoming my personal knight. Yay! He seems really happy. Hopefully, <laughs> Fritz has a really sad fairy tale curse. He has the um, Little Red Riding Hood curse. His presence is the only company I can tolerate nowadays. You should wait in the throne in the throne room then. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter, princess? Yes. You know, I haven't seen you smile once since I met you. Because you set as an ice cold heart and it needs to be thawed, but it will be thawed. Why is that any of any importance? <laughs> Still, I do hope to see you smile one day, princess. You'll see her smile. Actually, um, some of them, some roots you won't see her smile I'm sorry I feel so bad <sighs> well I won't take up more of your time I'll see you at 10 10 don't tell me you've forgotten I've forgotten Fritz what is it again <laughs> forgotten what you're going to town today remember I deflate as I as the realization dawns upon me it has been two days since the king issued the order. You said I would like you to accompany Emmeline on one of her town outings. Surely you could send maids with her instead. I would not have requested you to accompany her if I was going to send her with maids. I want you to make an effort and to get along with your sister. Step sister. She is your sister. And you'll treat her and Rod as if they're your own, if they were of your blood. Well, okay. Um, if you go, if your father said that to you because you just didn't like it and you ignored them most of the time, then I mean, of course it's bad if we said, but I understand why she would hate her father, and I know why she dislikes her um, step family because they just uh, the king just decided to marry them suddenly without her permission and I'm sure she would feel absolutely broken because she loves her mother mother very much even though her mother wasn't the nicest and she was corrupted but it doesn't change the fact that Lucette getting a new family without permission without permission from her is definitely heartbreaking two days from now you're going to accompany Emmeline outside it has been four years since, your since you last left the palace. So what? If I could choose, I would never leave my house. <laughs> Ever since then, you have locked yourself away. You barely leave your room. That sounds like me on the weekend. And Gio was in the grip of war back then, but now the kingdom is safe and back to its former glory. I want you to see how beautiful Angel really is. You said a princess must know her kingdom. Go with Emmeline, and she will show you the town you only ever see through your windows. Is that in order? If it needs to be. Are we clear? Is that? Understood. Go 
last time I left the palace was four years ago, when the king, the, the king took me with him to check on the people after the Great War had ended. I shake my head, removing myself from the memory. I'm safe here. Princess, are you alright? Yes, Fritz, I am alright, don't worry. It won't be that bad. The townsfolk are good people. How can you be so sure? So it seems like Lucet is comfortable with talking to Fritz, but nobody else. And I, I kind of say that is indeed very, very cute. Oh, gosh, darn it. Why am I bleeding? Um, um, I'm bleeding. How can you be so sure? You can't, can you, Fritz? Cause you know that there are millions of bad people out there in the world. Times have changed. People change. That's precisely the problem. Mother never changed. Mother loved me until the end. Sometimes change is for the better, Princess. I don't think you see that today. No, I'll see that in a couple of days or a month or so. Not today, Fritz. Not today. If you excuse me, I shall see you later. Okay, bye. It obviously means that they can talk, and that they can talk eventually, and she's probably a witch. I love her dress, though. I just love witches for some reason. I wish you could talk to me, you and the others. Like, those are my only friends. They are the only ones I can trust. Relatable. Unlike humans, they will never betray me. That line... I just reminded a younger version of me. I locked myself from the world. And then I slowly, gradually had friends, I guess. I don't know if they're gonna be my friend forever or if the same thing that happened when I was younger, but okay, I won't I share a personal story like that. They will never hurt me. They will always be there for me. The moment I saw Dolora, I knew she was special, because she is a witch. She was different, so elegant and realistic. It was almost if, as if she was breathing. She was a gift from the king on my 17th, 17th birthday, yeah. Okay, I thought I read it wrong. I only started receiving dolls from him when mother passed away. Mother does not believe in birthday celebrations. But every year at midnight, a litter would appear under my door. It would contain instructions, leading me through the palace on an adventure to the room, filled with gifts, cakes, and sweets. Oh, I'm jealous! We barely celebrate my birthday. A child's dream. I am a child. I'm younger than Lucet. I'd be fascinated by the dolls, which had always held a little greeting card. A card with the words, I love you, on my own, sign my N. The card would tell me to keep those celebrations a special secret, but I didn't need to be told that. Mother always found a way to show me that she still uh, that uh, la, la, showed me she still cared, in her own way. The secret celebrations had stopped as soon as she just had disappeared. Yes. Excuse me, Your Highness. The king has requested your presence. This better not be another lecture. Tell him I'm on my way. Later, Delora. Oh. I'm just hissing at him like a cat. Cause screw me and sleep He also really creeps me out. Just that face. It just look at that face. It makes me want to back away or punch his face. Yeah, I'm that kind of person, I'm sorry. Huh? Sir Mithras? Sir Mithras, the royal advisor. Father trusts him a great deal, just like he does Sir Alicaster. Every day you look more and more like your mother. 
I will not become my mother though, my throat. I sometimes find Sir my throat talking to mother's portrait when he thinks no one else is looking. Oh, okay. That's totally not weird at all. He must have admired her a lot, but I cannot bring myself to think highly of him. She probably thinks he's a creepy weirdo. Oops, sorry. There is something about him that puts me on edge. Mm-hmm. That's right, girl. <laughs> Look, it's a ten of brown crystals. You can tell straight away that he's he knows about this. Also, the mouse thing's a ten of brown crystal, or Lucius, whatever. But there were crystals, I'm sorry. Crystal and ten of brown, or whatever. Are you on your way to see the king? I shall not keep you then. Okay. <laughs> Until our next meeting, dear princess. <sighs> Go away from me, please. Your Majesty. Lucette, are you ready? I mean... Yeah? I might turn the volume down a little bit. There we go. You'll enjoy this, Lucette. I've heard the toy shop has lovely dolls. I need to put it up again. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> This will be good for you. You'll get to know your sister better, and you'll be able to interact with and learn about the people of Angel, about our subjects. I will not learn anything I do not already know. Why do you always believe that people, that the people around you are incapable of good? Because I have seen how quickly people will betray and manipulate each other to get what they want. Mother warned me about human nature. You talk as if you're not a human yourself, Lucette. You do not see clearly, Lucette. If you would only open your eyes, you would say, be able to see how good people really are. I believe I am already quite capable of seeing the true nature of people. After all, I have seen there is no good in you. Oh, shots fired! Lucette, that's kind of mean, but oh! I, where were you when I needed you four years ago? Where have you been ever since? Back then, I'd be overflowing with grief and pain. I just lost mother, my entire world. I'd hoped that maybe then he would have shown me love and compassion. Even just a hug to let me know someone was there. It had been a childish hope. I had been left alone. Oh, okay. Uh, what a terrible father. As much as she's colonized, she has a good reason to hate him. I did not see it for months. Had barely even heard his voice. You cannot rely on anyone but yourself. You cannot. Not, you cannot trust anyone but yourself. This is what you have taught me, Your Majesty. I know I've hurt you. I know there is nothing I can do to atone for what I did. But please, Ophelia and her children are not part of that. They do not deserve to be hated. In the end, they still matter more to him than I ever did. You've said, enough. I have already said, I will go. Everyone is waiting outside. I shudder at the thought of leaving the palace after so many years. Said it will be okay. How can you be so sure? Oh, she's, she's so nervous. Thank you for agreeing to accompany Emmeline. I would not disobey an order from the king. Excuse me. Oh! Wait, aren't these the exact same dolls we have in our room? Oh my gosh, the little things! This is so cute! <gasps> Oh, there's a teddy bear behind the girl, too. Oh, and look at the bird. The flowers are so pretty. Oh, the little teacups are so cute. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop now. Wait, what? Oh. Hello, how 
can I help? Bye, Rika! Emmeline! I mean, Princess Emmeline! How good to see you! I trail Emmeline, ignoring her as she embraces her friend. I glance around the small shop. The doll displays are nowhere near the quality of the ones in my room. They're the exact same ones, Lucette! How could they not be the right quality? I cannot understand why Emmeline insisted she buy a gift for her friends here. Hmm. I cannot believe I'm outside the palace. There's no need to be so tense, princess. Oh, you're so nice, Reeds! Cinnamon Mun! He's a, a sad little cinnamon bun. I will never let anything happen to you. Well, that's your job. Your only job is to relax and enjoy yourself. Aww, so sweet. You ask the impossible of me. There is no need to be formal, Vyrika. Vyrika, Vyrika, and Vyrika. I'm still the same as I was. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Ruth's coming along as well. It's been a while, Vyrika. It's good to see you again too, Rod. Can't you even hear the effing voice like, Oh, I like you. Papa, okay. And I must introduce you to your highness, the Grand Princess Lisette. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> the look on Viarika's face, as, Viarika's face as she takes a step back from me is all too familiar. Fear. My apologies for being so rude, your highness. Good morning. Gerald, Sir Alec has the son. It's a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Oh, he's so formal. Oh, you're Sir Fritz Gerald? You really are as handsome as Emmeline described in her letters. Okay, um, back up there, Emmeline. Um, just back up there. <laughs> you don't wanna do with poor Fritz the cinnamon bun, you know, because, um, his curse is complicated. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't mind her, Sir Fritz, Sir Fritz, you uh, I'm sorry, Emmeline. Right. <laughs> Brings you all the way here. Oh, I'm here to get some toys. Gifts for some friend, for some friend, no, 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 some new friends. I thought I was your sister, not your friends. Oh, you mean nobles? Uh, oh, I thought you considered me as a friend. Sorry. <coughs> cough, cough. Spoiler. <coughs> toys from here? Are you sure? Of course I am. I cross my arms. I would prefer we finish this errand as quickly as possible. <gasps> yes, of course. You, sorry, I'm sorry, Highness. Oh, Rod. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me, Princess. I can barely breathe in here. I just want to go back to the palace. Oh, so cute. Oh, hello. This is Karma. It's not a she. It's a he. <laughs> it's another romance choice. Good morning. <laughs> Fritz. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> Rod knows what's up. He knows. He knows the, the karma. He's like, really? Really karma? <laughs> up until this point, I've always sensed a mother to be the fairest beauty in the land. Ugh, that late the, the lady that walked uh, walks in proves me wrong. Her beauty is mesmerizing and clearly without peer. Everyone in the shop is openly staring. Oh, you're here early today. Oh, oh, you're here early today, ma'am. I have some important errands to run later today. Are the items ready now? 
Oh, of course. Let me go and fetch them for you. I'll just be in one moment, Emily. Why is she smiling at me? <laughs> Yo, I didn't know Sapul was looking. Oh, <laughs> move the move the eyes. <laughs> Karma, don't you dare eye me. I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking, oh, it's the princess. On her 18th birthday, she'll be able to dispel my curse. Um, <clears throat> I won't tell you the full thing because I'm going to do Karma's route, but he's got the beauty's curse. I'm not telling you the second part of it. <laughs> Here you are, ma'am. Oh my god, that went. Here you are, Anna. Here you are, ma'am. Thank you. I forgot Eureka's voice already. Bye, Rika. Ah, oh, that lady was beautiful. Right? Any girl standing next to her becomes hopelessly ugly by comparison. Don't know it is that I'm ugly. Who is she? She's new around town. Some say that she's a fairy. <coughs> Not. <coughs> uh, fairy? That swayed and uh, saved Angel from the witches four years ago. Everyone considered them our saviors. And yet the fairies are still unable to stop the fairy tale curse from spreading. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Here you go. Thank you so much. No, thank you, Verica. I hope to drop by again soon. Good, I look forward to seeing you again. I hope to see you again soon as well, Rod. Likewise. <laughs> you don't talk much, do you? Leaving the palace was a bad idea. While I'm out, I'm I'm the center of attention. Aww. Sometimes we point and stare at me. Most however make a point of avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Like, I'm the plague. Oh, poor Lucette. There are some spiteful stares, but thankfully none are nearly as intense as they were uh, as they were four years ago. I can't reach that high. I'm sure the dancers are really surprised to see you again after so many years. Oh, I'm only really so sweet. Such a cinnamon bun. Which is a cinnamon roll. Fritz is a cinnamon bun. <laughs> Fritz and Rock lag behind us, which leaves only me and Emily. And only Emily walking beside me. I cannot decide which is worse. The staring or her company. <laughs> oh, there's that look! A street performance! It's been so long since I watched one. I last watched one. Street performance? It's Wolf! Another romance choice? He, he looks tall apparently, but he's actually, what was that? He was 22 or 23, I don't remember. Oh, sorry, did I just spoil it? Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, gosh! Good day, everyone! My name is Walt, and I'm here to spread some happiness and magic! Ooh, pretty! The boy named Walt snaps his fingers, and the colorful uh, and colorful flower petals start to rain down from the sky. Isn't that pretty, Lucy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you sure he looks dull? He seems to be the same height as Emily. <laughs> and are those the princesses over there? It's an honor to have you uh, to have you in attendance. Please accept this as a humble gift. He snaps his fingers and white lilies appear in his hand. Now, there's a lily right here. Lucette's favorite flower is a lily! And I won't... And... So sad that she turned a blind eye to that, even though her favorite flower is a lily, and she'd be, she should be like, How? Whoa, I love lilies and stuff, but she didn't. <laughs> Which makes me sad. So pretty. Whoa, Emily, calm down. He, he looks 12 and you're like, I don't know, um, 18? Oh, he looks so sad for some reason. The boy looks at me, ex uh, as if expecting some kind of reaction. 
I know why he's expecting some kind of reaction. I know why he looks so sad that we're not reacting. When he gets nothing from me, he sighs and gives me a wry smile. Hope to see you again during my next show. Oh. Once is another cinnamon bun. <laughs> so many cinnamon buns in this thing. <laughs> we'll definitely try. Oh, we'll definitely try. Gracefully bows before me before moving back to his area to perform more magic tricks for a gathering crowd. There are performers like this Lorraine and Angel. I love them. Maybe someday we'll get to see some musicians too. Those are my favorites. I do not intend to leave the palace again. Huh? But you do not like it out here? How did I grow up here? I love Angel. This is my favorite part of the kingdom. I wanted to share this with you, they said. I know you didn't really want to come, but you still tagged along. That means a lot to me, so thank you. I did not do this for you. I'm only here because the king ordered me to go with you. I just wanted us, I just want us to be closer, they said. I'd like to try to be your friend. I do not need, or I do not want or need your friendship. Oh, no, don't do that. It leads such a sweetheart. No matter how you act around me, we are not and will never will be sisters. I take, uh, I take care to remember that if I were you. But I, oh, no, she's crying. Don't cry, Emmeline. I'm here for you. I just need a, I just need to give her a hug. I need to give most characters in this game a hug. What suddenly grabs my hand, pulling me away from Emily. Stop. He is staring daggers at me. I think it's the first time I've ever seen him angry. Rod, oh, don't. Let me go. Both of you ought to stay away from me. I feel a heavy atmosphere as I turn to look at the people staring at us. Their expressions mirror those looks of disdain I saw years ago. Anger. Disgust. Hatred. To walk away. Princess, wait! Don't follow me. Princess! Can't bother voice Prince. I adjust my clothes making sure my face is hidden from view. I never should have left the palace. As I walked around, I watched the people bumbling down the streets. So carefree. They worked so hard for so little reward. They could work their entire lives and never get a fraction of what I have. And yet, they are happy. Dying. Oh, I feel bad. I heard Anise lost her job at the palace. It's true. Grand Princess Lucette made sure the poor girl was fired. I stop in my tracks at the mention of my name. Oops. Not again. Anise? Was that the name of the one lady that tore Dolores' dress? If so, my decision to fire her was justified. The palace maid cannot a uh, palace maid cannot be clumsy. Why should I tolerate poor performance? Mm, that reminds me of a certain performance I'm doing for school. What did I do that was so wrong? I know that I need hard work I know that I need hard working and big hearted. Very good with medicine. Shame, she lost her job so quickly. You know how hard the crown princess is to please. My friend at the palace says she doesn't even smile, only goes around with that cold look on her face. That's probably why they call her Ice Princess. Ice Princess? So, all those times I heard the servants saying that. I'd always expect. I always suspected they were talking about me. She's the complete opposite of our Princess Emily. That child's an angel. We all know she should be the crown princess. Annoyance begins to simmer inside me. I cannot stand here anymore, so I walk away. Ever since Emily entered my life, I've always been compared to her. And now, I have become second best. I am Lucet Riella Britton. Daughter of King Gennaro Britain III, and the Crown Princess of the Kingdom of Angiel. I am of 
royal blood. She is... She is nothing. Oh my god! There you are! Yes! I need... Li little loose at me here needs a hug, so if you wouldn't... If so, if you wouldn't mind... Please hug her. Princess, you must come back with me. It's getting too late for you to remain outside. Princess? Are you alright? Are you hurt? I brush him off and turn away. No need to fuss. Let us repeat. No, la, 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 la. Let us return to the palace. Excuse me for a moment. I need a glass of water. My throat is getting dry. Um, I will fast forward this and you can listen to music, I guess. I don't know. glassy gaze from where she sits on my, cell, on my shelf. I left the palace today, Dolora. It was the same as all those years ago. Everyone looked at me like I was... What have I ever done to deserve those looks? How can I be so hated? Ice Princess. <laughs> I wish Mother was here. Look at the smiling faces of my dolls. At least I still have all of you. She has a really soft side. She's scared to show it to others. Oh look, I see Cinderella. Uh, I forgot that one. Is that maybe Beauty and the Beast? Maybe... That's, maybe that's a stepmother? Maybe that's a this one to the back, but I definitely know this one's Cinderella for sure. Oh my. Is, oh, she has that little cat doll in the back too. How cute. We all know what curse she's gonna get. <laughs> Cinderella phenomenon. Okay, that's probably why that's there. They did a good job of detailing it as if it was the actual dolls, because I have actually seen like these dolls, statue things of Cinderella before, and it does look like that. Good night, Dolora. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. See? But who? Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star I put my eyes open only to see Dolora sitting right in front of me in, on my bed Moonlight spills across her delicate features How I wonder what you are Oh, creepy wasn't she on my shelf with all the other dolls when I went to bed? <laughs> Laura? It's almost time. <gasps> I pinch my cheeks to make sure I'm not dreaming. It hurts. Only ten minutes before the clock strikes twelve. Ah! Oh, she's so pretty. I hope you're ready, princess. What? My doll just turned into a human? How? Who are you? You know who I am. I've been watching you since the day your father gave me to you. What is happening? I 
don't think I've ever been so confused in my life. All the answers will come with time, but right now, I am here to give you something, princess. Wah! Oh, okay. Glass slipper? Is this... Cinderella's very own glass slipper. It's beautiful. Too beautiful. Then, I, then the realization begins to dawn upon me. You're a witch! Smart girl. I knew you'd figure that out eventually. Now it's time to say goodbye to your precious crown. What? Whoa. Oh my. I don't remember that. Sweet dreams. Cinderella. Snap. S just snap. <laughs> hey! Wake up, girl! Huh? Wh where am I? Help my head! You have some nerves sleeping in front of my shop? Leave before a customer sees you. I was in my room. How am I here? Did you not hear what I say, you filthy child? Filthy? You would speak the, to your own crown princess in such a manner? If you were the crown princess, then I'm the queen. You must have been knocked at your arm, but head quite hard to have such grand delusions. I'm not delusional. I am the set real of Britain, blood daughter of King Gennaro Britain III, and the crown princess of Angiel. Right. The king... Oh. Right, the king never had a daughter with that witch. Is she referring to mother? Witch? Don't pretend to be stupid, girl. I can only stare at her, puzzled. Our good king has stepchildren, Princess Emmeline and Prince Rod, and you are most definitely neither of them. What? Now get o now get gone before you go spouting your crazy gibberish at my customers and scare them away. Excuse you! Now, because you made me so mad, I'm going to drink a cup of water. Beautiful. I feel calm now. <laughs> With a huff, she leads me to my own rapidly turning thoughts. I quickly realize that I'm wearing tattered clothes and that I do not even have shoes on. <gasps> no, no, no. This cannot be happening! Something shines against my chest and I reach up to grab it. Hell floods back. Delora being a witch. Cinderella's glass slip slipper. This is not a dream. Delora gave me the fairy tale curse! My hands begin to tremble. We must return to the palace to speak with the king. Let me in! Sorry, girl, but this place is off limits to uninvited guests. You do not understand. I'm Crown Princess Riella Britain. I must speak with my father. As I look to, as I am to call him that, I have to. No one will believe me if I'm dressing him by title. You best leave now, nice and quiet, before we have to force you. If you would only... Make way for the king! Let's see, okay. Ooh, I don't remember that. The gates swing open as three horses trot out. Soldiers ride uh, two of the horses, while the last horse has a different familiar rider. Father! I immediately move to block the path of, the, of his horse. The soldiers move to hold me back. Your Majesty. What is this? Your Majesty, this girl is claiming to be your daughter. Daughter? Both of my stepchildren are in the palace right now. What? Even father is part of this? Father, you must help me. The witch has cursed me. Once in your life, just once, help me. You must believe me. Tell me where your family child. Uh, tell me where is your family child? Why are you alone? He looks at me with pity in his eyes. He is looking at me with more. Uh, he he is looking at me more kindly as a peasant than he ever did when I was crown princess. And his daughter. I recoil. You must be. Happy. Take this. It's a bag. A pretty red bag. This should feed you and your family for a day or two. The kingdom offer, offers work opportunities, opportunities to those who need them. 
please t let your parents know. I do not want your pity, father. Please escort this girl back to her home. Make sure she gets there safely. I want your majesty. I watched as my father and his two guards ride away from on, on their horses, leaving me to stand, the, uh, stand in their dust. He left me alone. Again. Where is your home, girl? There is nowhere left for me to go. Father has forgotten me. Leave me. Now look here. I always want to leave me alone. Do it yourself. Can't say we didn't try. Don't cause any more scenes, little girl. Call me little again. I dare you. Call me little again. I watch with blurry eyes as the soldiers return to the palace. How can this be happening? I stare at the small pouch in my hand. I don't know. I do. Uh, I do not know what hurts more. The fact that I've just been unceremoniously paraded from my own home like that. I like I am nothing more than a piece of garbage, or the fact that my own father does not recognize me. <laughs> Look at this, that girl's hideous dress. How difficult it is to be poor. I clutch the pass closer to my chest as I run to an empty alley. I huddle in the corner trying to become as small as possible. I squeeze my eyes shut, hoping that when I next open them, everything will be back to normal. No matter what happens, you must not leave the palace. Why? The world is cruel. People will only ever hurt you. But they are always so nice to me. That's only because you are the crown princess. They will only ever think of what they can to t uh, what they can take from you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to protect you, my love. That is why you must never leave the palace. Never, never leave, mother. I am the only one who will ever love you so much. Do you understand? I understand. Chapter 1! The... What is that? The L? Okay. Alright guys, I'll leave it there. I don't think I need to do any editing apart from that one bit. I hope you liked this video. I really did. Alright, let us... Um, let us film the... Hmm. Well, I'm not going to sleep yet. I'm going to film the other one and I'll upload it on the same day. Don't you worry. Goodbye, everyone, and I hope you like this video.